Should we see how bad of an idea it will be to try and do a somersault while I'm holding this GoPro? <laughs> oh God. Don't do a somersault while you wear a helmet. Hey, what's going on friends? It's your resident internet bike nerd, Broadway biker, also known as Joni. Welcome back to my channel where I fuse my two great loves, music and cycling. Today's video was inspired by my wonderful viewer and subscriber, Bike Lanes, who asked, how do you bike in a skirt or dress? Now I know some of you non-skirt bike dress wear are people are currently running away from this video at top speed. But hear me out, Halloween is just around the corner and how are you gonna bike to your fancy costume party dressed as a wizard if you can't bike in billowy fabric? Just saying. So, whether you are a dress, a skirt wearer, a robe wearer, a billowy bottom half fabric wearer, or neither of the above, this video is for you. So why is biking in a skirt or dress so hard to begin with? As I see it, there are two main issues we need to overcome. One, being fabric getting ruined and caught in your wheel, brakes, chain, etc. And the second being flashing people. <laughs> number one can be solved by reducing the amount of excess fabric. And number two can be solved by wearing a pair of shorts, bike or otherwise, or cleverly arranging your layers. I'm gonna break this down into three lengths, short, medium, and long. So let's get started. All right, so here we go with short dresses or skirts. <laughs> My biggest number one tip for this is just wear a pair of shorts underneath. Honestly, it solves most all of your problems. You're super comfortable and you are not going to show anyone your cute underwear. So yeah, yay for that. You can use bike shorts or a pair of boxers like I'm doing here, booty shorts, uh, whatever your heart desires really. When biking in a short dress skirt fabric thing, you can do it two ways. One, you can leave it out the back like this. I would be careful though if you don't have a rack or fenders to protect it from getting in the tire. Just make sure it's short enough that it won't be rubbing. Or two, you can tuck it under you like this. The only thing you need to worry about when you tuck it under is bunching fabric. So just be kind of mindful of how you arrange things so you don't have chafe town mania, which is not fun. For medium length dresses, we start getting into the billowy territory. <laughs> the billowy territory is particularly dangerous because it means that your fabric is at risk of getting caught in your chain, in your brakes, in your wheels, and just becoming a horrible dirty mess. The first thing again I would recommend for medium lengths is to wear shorts. You're gonna be way more comfortable and you're not gonna worry about a big old gust of wind poofing up and uh, you going blind or showing everyone your underwear once again. So let's get all this excess fabric out of the way. The first and one of the easiest methods is the tie method. So all you need for this is like a hair tie, ponytail holder, rubber band, piece of string, whatever you got. Pretty much you just gather all the excess fabric up, make it into a little ponytail, or you can make it into a little bun too, whichever is most comfortable. And uh, that's it. Getting all the excess fabric out of the way makes riding in a medium length dress really easy. The second option is to do the make it pants method. So this one's a little more complicated. Basically you have to turn your dress into pants. So start off by grabbing the fabric from the back of your dress and pulling it through like you're sitting on it. Hold it with one hand up, then grab the fabric from your front of your skirt and tuck it underneath. See, you just kind of made a pair of pants out of your skirt. Okay, with long fabric, we are in the super danger zone. Look at all of that beautiful billowiness to get ruined by your braking system. Once again, I always recommend wearing shorts underneath, but to get all of that fabric out of the way, there's a couple different methods we can use. The first being the ponytail method again, or the tie method. Since it's so long, you really wanna gather up as much as you can and tie it high up. This is why I recommend wearing shorts. The goal is to reduce the amount of fabric as well as like the girth of it, if that makes sense. So make sure it's kind of snug to your legs, but not too snug so you can still pedal. Since this fabric is so long, I would recommend leaving it like a little bun instead of keeping it out like a ponytail. 
Okay, so another method is the make it pants method. This one works super well with long dresses. So to start off with, go ahead and mount your bike like you normally would. The first step is to take the fabric from the back of your skirt and just sit on it. Now take this fabric from the back of your dress and put it underneath the front of your dress. Hold it with one hand, then using the other hand, take the fabric from the front of your dress and tuck it underneath you like you were sitting on it. Now simply hop up on your bike seat and you're ready to ride. Look at that, you just made a pair of pants out of a dress. Another method I really like is the double tie or the like side tie method. I found this one works best with a belt, although you can just do two knots. Take fabric from one side of your dress, pull it up and slip it through a belt or again like a rope or you can make a knot. Do the same on the other side, kind of making sure to floof the fabric out just to get it all uniform and going the same direction. Once your two little loops are secure in your belt, there you go, you're ready to ride, and suddenly your dress is half the length that it used to be. Using these three methods, you can safely and confidently bike in your favorite dresses, skirts, robes, whatever, and not get them ruined. This is a great way to expand your riding outfit repertoire and just to have a little fun. So I hope this video was helpful for all my skirt, dress, robe, long fabric wearing people out there. May your garments stay clean and not full of bike grease. And may you not be arrested for public indecency for flashing people on accident. If you have a question about bike touring, commuting, or anything else in the bike or music realm, feel free to leave a comment below. I love reading them and sometimes they turn into videos like this one did. I'm planning on getting my Bike Across America Texas vlog videos up hopefully this month, if not next month. My normal laptop is 10 years old and it's unfortunately just really struggling <laughs> to do basic tasks and it really can't handle an editing program. Um, I did, super happy, I got a refurbished laptop, but the speakers kind of started going off. So it's in for warranty right now, but as soon as I get that back, I will be ready to start making more videos in the comfort of my own home, thank goodness. So stay tuned for more bike across America vlogs, more bike commuting type videos, bike touring videos, and definitely more music. When was the last time I did a singing video on this channel? It's been forever. Leave me beautiful, lovely, nice, encouraging comments if you think I should bring more singing videos back to Broadway Biker. Okay, y'all, it is so beautiful here. I hope wherever you are, eventually sometime this week, you get an opportunity to get your butt on a bike and get out in the great outdoors. If you liked this video and you haven't already, feel super welcome to hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you here. We're an awesome community of everyone from super bike nerds to just bike curious people in general. So come along for the ride. Okay, y'all, you know the drill. I'll see you in the next video. And in the meantime, get your butt on a bike.